So then we are back with the more understanding from the time of the second tabernacle service that we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelik lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yerushiach the prophet. Then we find a layer of understanding related with the spring feast, autumn feast and the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid away from many centuries. And also, we study then the layer of understanding of Daniel, the 11th chapter, where then we've discovered then the kingdom of the north and south, and then a couple of chapters later, the kingdom of the east, known as then obviously the dragon. So then, since we've studied the time of the dragon ever since after 09 until prior of the starting of the autumn feast it is imperative for us to start this study regarding then the objective of the trade of the end what does the mean or what should be done to get then the initiation of the trade of the end it's very simple as we understand, during the time of the thousand years of deceit, from 1009 to 2009, the nation of Great Britain was given the privilege of leading the world's market for 800 years. You'll find then, the United States was given then the privilege for 200 years. Their time has ended. So then, let's understand then the main players of the 11th chapter of Daniel. You find the Kingdom of the North is the Soviet Union. As people understand, the Soviet Union was reinstated in May of this year. So we are dealing then with the Soviet Union. China and the Soviet Union, they are unifying their armies, their military for the purposes of protecting then the friends of China or the partners of China of doing trade with China. And then you find, obviously, the south then, known as the African continent, being then the place where tabernacling is going to be at precisely on the land of Cush, as is stated by the prophet Yerushiahu chapter 1.8. But not only this, how is it then the other countries are going to cope with then the downing of the USD, or the monetary system of the United States? Obviously, we must understand what it means, the BRICS, what are the countries involved with the BRICS and what are the nations doing in conjunction with these obvious time of the dragon? It's very simple. The spiritual understanding of this time is found in Daniel 13, where you then read the bell and the dragon, meaning then there is a very powerful movement of the spirit against the dragon. How do we describe this? At the moment, the West is absolutely ignorant of the many intricacies of this new system. So let's understand what goes on with some of the countries of the BRICS. Let's just start then with March. March of this year, there was a visit in China regarding then the companionship or then the partnership of these countries being part of the BRICS. It was there the United States, Australia, Japan, to name a few. Then when they came out of there, there was then a conjunction of forces from these countries to try to go against China and contain China to its limits. Didn't work. How is it didn't work? Because the time of the dragon does not permit its containment. United States has ended its time. They have placed their authority, their leadership for 200 years. It's time for the United States to retrieve and rebuild in their own country. They have given their maximum and the country is nearly breaking. They are at near its breaking point. But the point is, let's understand then the dirty schemes of the United States of enslavering or enslaving the rest of the world via the USD. So then, let's evaluate then March. March went then in China, the countries of the United States, went then Australia and Japan. Then after March, when they came out of this visit, Australia then wanted 12 nuclear submarines and then 100 aircrafts for combat. So then, what went on? 
United States then, via these schemes and dirty ideas, they wanted then for these countries to become more dependent upon the USD. Australia got dismemorized at the moment because then later, a few months later, the Prime Minister of Israel then mentioned regarding this specific fact of the USD two years ago that it would then be devalued. But then let's understand the consequences of March and then what went on. A few months later, then the Prime Minister of Australia was deposed. She was deposed along with the Minister of Finances. Then you find Brazil unfortunately being on the same route where then the United States already have insect Brazil and then what are the consequences? It's very simple. Printing out more money. There is a specific video with an interview regarding then the objectives of Brazil regarding the G20 and was then obviously placed in public on the 20th of this month. Brazil has no objective for the G20 in September. The objective of Brazil is simply printing out more money. So when they come out with these politics and these names and this jargon of then complicated verbiage where then incentives, more incentives or then more of the money where they use then these stupid names to then mesmerize the people. Some of the words used are very simple. They want incentives. Incentives, financial incentives, does not mean wise investments. Since we understand the Brazilian economy is not as it used to be, Obviously, it's given you the answer that Brazil does not have enough investments to come up with the short come of the events. Do they? Otherwise, they wouldn't be in trouble. So the only reason to say then more incentives in order to warm up the area of trade going on because of the worldwide crisis generated by the United States what can you understand? It is simply printing out more money. United States has destroyed its economy via printing out more money because the money of USD does not have the backing of gold anymore. It's simply a piece of paper. What do we understand of the visit in March? The plan of the United States of having more military in the South Pacific didn't work. Obama went to Panama, didn't work. Australia went then in China in March, they came back, didn't work. They deposed their own Prime Minister. What then Brazil can expect of being insect by the United States? What would be the outcome? Unfortunately, the Brazilian President decided to put herself at jeopardy in the hands of the United States. What is it going to do? Printing out more money, then the United States can manipulate the price of USD and then once again Brazil becomes a slavery or a slave or an slave of the system. Now, as far as, as the scripture, what do we understand of the time of the Great Britain and the United States? The time it has ended. Ended in 2009. So then in 2009 their time has ended. What are the players of this time? China is the factory of the world. In order to achieve this factoring, then it has to have raw materials. So then the objective of the moment is then lining up with the dragon and stay away from the USD. USD, there is no more value. So then, a couple of years ago, then the Prime Minister of Israel in conjunction with IMF, both of them, after a study, a very intricate study, they realized it wouldn't last the USD for more than five years. Two years is already gone. There is then 36 months roughly, and this was six months ago. So quite a reality shows 30 months. If the United States does not retrieve and rebuild themselves, then the USD is going to get ruined. So then, 
As far as Australia, we understand the consequences. The Prime Minister of Australia was then deposed, herself and the Minister of Finances over there. What do you think is going to be of Brazil after this 20 of this very month? They came together and decided then to go against what then the BRICS were doing. It is absolutely a scoundrelous decision of the United States and Brazil then coming against the entire group of people trying to work through the problems of the world system while then China is expecting more friendships and more partnerships where then they can establish Dragon Mart. So let me ask you this. What is the most important then? Printing out more money and destroying the economy? Being enslaved by the USD when the United States is already out of the time of the prophetic? They don't belong anymore in the world's trade as far as its leadership. Versus then making a deal with China and having Dragon Mart on Brazil. What are these can give you the most of it? Obviously, printing out more money is ridiculous. So then the question is, what is the G20 objective then for September? If you then log on and you then find out the G20 from the Soviet Union, where are the objectives? Is related with the infrastructure, coming up with a clean understanding of transparency of finances, and coming out with then a comprehensive way of generation of more jobs. These are the objectives for September. Let me ask you this, what the Brazilian president is going to do in September in the Soviet Union? Because her decision was this month on the 20th simply then to print out more money. How can we get around of the stupidity of the president where then she's placing the entire economy of Brazil at jeopardy? Because printing out more money along with the United States, what is it going to do? Watch what went on with Japan. Japan is absolutely bankrupt. They have printed out more money this time than during their entire history. Do then a very precise search in the computer and evaluate the number of paper money they have come up with. And the numbers are big. Now let me ask you this, can we compete with China? And the most important, what is she going to do then in the Soviet Union in September? If she has made a decision then to print out more money. But then they want to have more incentives. In fact, we can even try to get these specific video and we can simply let it play. So then we can hear in Portuguese the stupidity of this government except the people. Because the people are learning and very fast and because the government uses jargon words and very fancy words to mesmerize the people, let's then try to discover where they are making schemes of. So then we become more aware of this junky system. So let's then listen to these very famous journalist while he was talking. No primeiro encontro entre ministros do trabalho e das finanças do G20, representantes do Brasil e dos Estados Unidos divergiram de outros membros do bloco sobre a eficiência de medidas de austeridade para o combate à crise. O encontro começou hoje em Moscou. 
Os 20 membros do grupo até concordam que o crescimento econômico ainda é fraco e estudam ações conjuntas para recolocar o trabalhador no mercado. Mas os representantes do Brasil e dos Estados Unidos querem mais estímulos para a geração de empregos. Outro assunto em pauta foi a adoção de um plano para o combate à evasão fiscal de empresas multinacionais como Apple e Google. So then let's try to evaluate this jargon of more incentives or more printing of money. I'm going to listen to this again. So then he started with the gathering of the ministers of finances and work, jobs and work. So let's then break these apart so then we can understand these jargon facing words so then they won't mesmerize the people anymore. So the leaders of then the ministers of finances and work or jobs then came together and they tried to find out a way of generating more jobs. But let's try to understand these without printing out more money. Representantes do Brasil e dos Estados Unidos divergiram de outros membros do bloco. So then these two countries, Brazil and United States, they have then their objectives against the very G20 objectives. They're trying to exclude austerity. Austeridade means they want to stay away from. They have their own tiny schemes and their scheme is then destroying the economy via printing out of more money. Sobre eficiência de medidas de austeridade para o combate à crise. O encontro começou hoje em Moscou. Os 20 membros do grupo até concordam que o crescimento econômico ainda é fraco e estudam ações conjuntas para recolocar o trabalhador no mercado. Mas os representantes do Brasil e dos Estados Unidos querem mais estímulos para... Estímulos. Financial stimulus. You know what this means? In finances, printing out more money. This is what it means. So then... We heard very precisely United States and Brazil joining up forces and simply removing themselves from the main decisions of the G20 where then the BRICS, rather than focusing on what's going on then in September, in 36 days or so, there is absolutely no objective. The objective was already reached when both countries, United States and then Brazil, in the 20th of this month, they want more financial stimulus. This means printing out more money and then playing a dangerous game with taxation and also inflation later. This is what it means. So there is no reason then for the Brazilian president to go to the Soviet Union in September, does it? She already made her mind. She wants to print out more money and hack with the BRICS. That's her opinion. How can we change this? Well, let's continue on and listen. A geração de empregos. Outro assunto em pauta foi a adoção de um plano para o combate à evasão fiscal. But then they try to go against those companies. They are not paying enough taxes. So then this government is absolutely ridiculously involved with a scheme that does not help the country. So let's evaluate then September when it comes. Where are the objectives? Besides printing money, printing money is against the law. If there is no growth in a country to back up then the value of the money, printing money is no legal, it's non-legal. United States has destroyed its economy by printing money. The United States already nearly destroyed the economy of Australia. She was deposed along with the minister. What is it going to take to remove our own president from power so then our country does not destroy itself via printing of money? That's the question we should absolutely and definitely come up with an answer because we have 36 days until then September. 
and thus far we must get the contract from China to have the establishment of the Dragon Mart then in Brazil becoming the South Atlantic trading post as Cancun is the Central Americas. So please stay tuned, much more coming up.